Hello everybody, Matt here once again, back with another video. And today I have decided to do yet another ranking video. This time I'm going to be ranking one of my very favorite shows of all time, and that is The Office. Now I just finished watching this for my sixth time, so I have it very fresh in my memory, and I'm very, very excited to talk to you guys about this one. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so coming in number ninth place and last place is season one. Now I know for a lot of people this is actually one of their very favorites, but I honestly disagree. For me, this whole season just feels like a giant pilot season. Even though I do laugh at these episodes every time I rewatch them, I can tell you I would not be rewatching The Office over and over again if the show stayed like how it was in season one. And I'm so glad they did all the changes that they did in season two. For me, it is the worst season of The Office. Coming in at number eight is season nine. Now, for most people, this is probably their least favorite season. I actually had a hard time deciding if I wanted season nine to be number seven or number eight because I honestly think that season nine and season eight are pretty interchangeable. Um, both have things that I don't like about them. But I would say that I like Season 8 slightly more than Season 9. My main problem with Season 9 is um, a lot of the characters in the season become pretty unlikable. Um, that isn't to say that they're all are bad episodes. There are quite a few really good episodes in this season that I really, really like. Especially like the AARM episode and the finale. I thought the show ended perfectly. But aside from that, this is nowhere near a great season. But Season 9 is number 8. Coming in at number 7... Um, if you didn't guess by now, is going to be Season 8, since I said that 8 and 9 were interchangeable. For me, Season 8 did a decent job adapting without Michael there, since this is the first season without Steve Carell. I think it did a pretty good job overall. And I honestly really liked uh, Andy as manager. He was nowhere near as good as Michael, but he was one of my favorite characters. And seeing as they ruined him in the ninth season, it is always really f refreshing to go back and watch season eight and see him be really, really likable and really good at his job. And unpopular opinion, I personally really like Robert California. I know everyone else is going to think that's weird, but I thought James Spader did a good job and I thought he was a good addition to the show. Coming in at number six is season six. So this is definitely a really good season. My main flaw with this season overall is that Michael and Jim share the manager po position and they're both co-managers. I did not like that. For me, that kind of ruined part of the dynamic of the show. I always liked Jim working underneath Michael, but then also being the one to give him advice and stuff. It just had such a good dynamic before, and them working together to both be the boss, I feel took a little bit away from the show, but I honestly really like this season uh, overall. Coming in at number five is actually season three. Now, I know for a lot of people, they're going to be so confused why I have this season uh, a lot lower, because it is a really, really good season. And in fact, it's it's more than good. It's definitely great. I really like it. The main problem is that Jim is over at Stanford Branch at this season, so you didn't have a lot of um, the great character interactions and like a lot of the good pranks that he would play on Dwight. That doesn't happen as much this season. I also didn't really like the episodes when the two branches combined. Um, something about those episodes just always feels so weird to me. Coming in at number four is going to be a big shocker to a lot of you. Number four is season seven. So I'm not including the last like three episodes. The last three episodes of the season are, are not that good. And in fact, they're probably some of the worst episodes of the whole series because they're the first three episodes trying to adapt without Michael there. So those episodes are not very good. But all the stuff before that, all the way from the, the first episode all the way down to Goodbye Michael, season seven is honestly one of my very favorite seasons ever. And it is such a satisfying finale season for the character of Michael Scott. And other than the last three episodes, I really don't have any problems with the season at all. Coming in at number three is season five. Um, so I know this is uh, usually in the middle of a lot of people's lists, and it's also up towards the top. For me, it's up towards the top. This is probably one of the most chaotic seasons. There's so much going on. You have the nice pot with the Michael Scott Paper Company, which is one of my favorite arcs of the whole series. Uh, you have the amazing episode Stress Relief. Um, all these really nice, uh, fun plots. This is the first season where I feel like every character is probably at their best. If not at their best, then pretty close. Um, this is also when the show starts to get, uh, more cartoony. And where I kind of feel like that's a bad thing towards, like, the last couple of seasons. I feel like for this season, that was probably the best route they can go. And I really, really love season five. Coming in at number two is season two. I know this is probably most people's favorite season. And I... It probably is the best, but it's not my favorite, and for a few reasons. The main reason why this isn't my favorite, even though most of the episodes are honestly just fantastic, the characters don't quite act like how they do in this season, as well as in the first season, as they do in the rest of the series. So, even though the writing is probably at its best in season two, 
Um, that's why it's not my number one. Now, coming in at number one is one that I feel like people wouldn't be too shocked about because it's probably like their, their second or third favorite season. But for me, it's my very favorite, and that is season four. The only flaw I have with this entire season is that about a fourth to half of the episodes, I think it's more close to a fourth and a half, are, are like 42 minute long episodes as opposed to the normal 22. So it is harder to binge this season, but that said, this is so many great episodes, and this is also the season that has my favorite episode, which is Dinner Party. That is 100% my favorite episode by far. And another main reason why this is very much my, like, my favorite season is that I feel overall this is one of the most uh, Jan and Michael centric seasons and you also get your um, like them introducing Holly Flax Michael's future lover and just everything about season four just goes perfectly right to me and I honestly other than a couple of the really long episodes wouldn't change anything all right guys that has been my ranking of all nine seasons of the office I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you would like to see more rankings and more videos like this go ahead and let me know in the comment section below and thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.